Today is the 16th of December 2014 and this is a quick guided tour of Lockwind Collie Kennel. So this is our front area with the river running along the front. We have an entrance gate which comes in over a bridge. Quite a large paddock that I run the horses in. Property extends to the other side of the river. You can see the river on the tree line. The property extends right down to where you can see the two tree lines joining. And then we have an industrial area at the back. This is one of the front dog running yards, so fenced with arc mesh, all reticulated. Doesn't look as green as it should at this time of year because the winter grass, no matter how much you water it, hasn't uh, been able to survive. It's dying off and the summer grasses haven't quite kicked in yet. So we see the, uh, the kennel block on the right and down the back is the cattery. This is the rear entrance into the house. Hopefully this is not like the Blair Witch Project, which makes you totally seasick while I'm walking along. So that is my grass running yard for my own dogs in between the house, the kennels and the cattery. We take you inside, hopefully the camera doesn't die. These uh, horses won enough money for me to be able to, to buy the property. I was very fortunate to train for some of the rich businessmen in Perth and was leading trainer percentage of winners to runners in the metropolitan area in 1989-90 season. Those are some of the ribbons my collies won. I bred collies from 2000 to 2006. That's all their ribbons, all their trophies are actually in the house. So we'll go and have a quick look down the kennels. view of the running yard. One Sheltie that wants to know why it hasn't been able to come with me. This little girl belongs to Greg Mella of Jamel Shelties. She's a hundred percent American bred. Her name is Jamel K. Sarah Sarah. She is triple trek on the fourth line of her pedigree. But this is the front boarding yards with shade sails. The front of the kennels with security lighting and video surveillance. Go into the kennel area. have all the, the standard certification for the business. Many years ago I had Great Pyrenees uh, one. This is the grooming room so it just has the hydro bath, storage area for the crates, grooming table. This is the office area which uh, when I had the boarding kennel I was obviously running it as a business, which was Lockwind Canine Sports Resort. Have a kitchen, just a food preparation area, washing machine, storage. Just another view of the office into the green room. All has ceiling fans. Whole building is insulated. 
There's uh, one of the collie puppies, the melancholy baby. Kennel laneway, so there are 12 kennels, they're all identical. They just have a bed and a doggy door takes them to the outside area of the dog run. They have quite a large area outside. The whole thing has ceiling fans. I think there's six ceiling fans in here and it's all insulated. So even on the warm days it's it's quite pleasant in here. Have a couple of noisy borders out the back. Have a Vimarana. Or Heidi. Have a silly black cocker spaniel and a very nice liver cocker spaniel. And Ben the Beagle. So we have the two outside running areas. Behind that there's a grass running area. To the side there are grass running areas. As we go up the laneway here, this is the outside components of the dog runs. Where you can see they have an outside area to, to come out in. So in winter or when it's high temperatures, they don't have to be stuck inside, they can actually come out under a, an insulated veranda. Uh, the Sheltie, as you can see, has a, a bit of a tail issue, but apart from that incredibly nice little dog, she's totally out of coat at the moment, and her coat's all sunburnt. So we're now back around the front of the kennels. There's six kennels on either side. And have a quick look at the cats. I stopped running the boarding kennel in 2013 when a chap in Queensland, which is about 2,000 miles from here, uh, wanted to sue me for breaching his trademark, which was the Canine Centre which he registered in 2012. However, I had registered Lockwind Canine Centre in 2006. So, seeing as he was for some reason trying to put me out of business rather than uh, fight it, I decided at approaching 60, I might as well retire. So I now just run the cattery as a small hobby just so that I have a reason to get up in the morning. So this is the outside part of the cattery. There's only three cats in at the moment. And the cats can come in and out as they like through a dog door. The tunnels are down when, obviously when there are cats in and there are chairs for the cats to sit outside in the sun. This building used to be my collie kennel. It has Four horsepower of reverse cycle air conditioning. It's fully insulated and is probably more pleasant to be in on a hot summer's day than my house. This is the front of the cattery. Hopefully, there'll be enough light for us to at least have a look around. So, each cat run has uh, a ground area. Where they go out through the cat door, which was open if there's a cat in there, obviously. Have a level, middle level shelf for sleeping on. They have heat pads in uh, winter. And they have a top level where they can get up and sit. So they've got three levels inside. There's quite a few runs. A nice atrium in the middle. So it, uh, a lot of the cats can come out, or not all together obviously, but separately can come out and have a run in the middle. There's a bit of storage in the centre. Some lazy person hasn't put the cat food away. That's the standard side which has no access to the 
the outdoors but each unit has three levels same as the other side a window but no access to the outside and then we have family suites out the back that's woo her mum's gone to England for Christmas so I have a few clients that have two or three cats these cats can then going together and uh, been very happy that's the beautiful Phoebe who's going home today she's a regular comes in some weekends and they can sit and look outside at the birds you can probably just make out there's a plastic awning across the back so if it's rainy or windy the plastic awning gets dropped and there is a cat in the end one called Zen but he must have eaten his breakfast and gone back to bed so that is my very modest kennel and cattery.